Master. Tom, welcome. It's great to have a new member. Give it, give an icebreaker speech. So this is not going to be a laconic evaluation. However, I will jump right into it. You are a brave man. You're very proactive to demonstrate your enthusiasm to get going on your competent <coughs> communicator uh, efforts. I, as I understand it, you don't even have your competent communicator handbook yet. And uh, to engage on speech number one without the book is, is, is brave. Uh, but again, it does show your enthusiasm. So the objective of the icebreaker speech is to begin speaking before an audience, which you successfully did. To discover speaking skills that you have, which I hope you did, and to identify some skills that may require a little bit of attention that you can focus on during your next, next nine speeches and afterwards. What I evaluated today, as I feverishly tried to draft a list and use my own common communicator manual to figure out what I need to evaluate, was whether or not the speaker met the objectives whether or not the speaker followed the checklist that's provided in the book, and whether or not the speaker broke the ice. So, on two accounts, get me on some of that. <laughs> Since the speaker, I don't believe, had a checklist to follow, he, he still did a great job. It is opening. Very important to rehearse the opening and to memorize it so that you really start out with a bang. You've got control of the speech and you're able to engage with the audience and to demonstrate that you know what you're going to, to discuss. Uh, look, at the, look at the openings, make sure that you, you're fairly confident in beginning your opening. Um, as you moved into the body of your speech, it was real smooth and real good. You were moving along, got in your groove, but it was short-lived because of the technology problem that you have. And you pointed that out to us and did it with humor, so great job doing so, because that was a, a well handled when the technology wound up getting, getting the better of you early on in the speech. You did stay on point, continue to communicate to us what your speech was about, it was great. The conclusion seemed a little abrupt to me, and that may have been because our timer back there stood up, and I told you you were running out of time, and then the yellow or red light came on, and it's like, well, we better stop. Um, however, it is a great topic. Uh, I'm trying to convince my wife to homeschool our kids as well. It's not going so good, but I've got another six or eight months to keep working on that. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know you better in the club, and looking forward to seeing all of your future speeches. So thank you very much.